Hare Krishna, today is Pandava Nirjala. Pandava Nirjala is the day after Ikarasi. Well, okay, yesterday was Pandava Nirjala. Today is the day after Ikarasi. Congratulations to all of the devotees who were successful in doing this, this particular Ikarasi because it's the most important. Ikadasi is a fasting period that takes place two times a month, 11 days after the new moon and then again 11 days after the full moon. And this particular day when we fast, first of all on all of the days that the Hare Krishna movement fasts, the important thing is to refrain from beans and grains. That means, I mean, and that's a vast array of foods and there's a super scientific reason for it there's uh ecodicy is very very deep you got to read up on it but to put it briefly all of the sinful energy in the universe all of the negative whatever you consider to be bad all of the bad energy in the universe during that time for that 24 hour period it takes refuge in all of the beans and the grains in the universe. So 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 as to avoid getting that karma for that 24 hour period from sun up to sun up, you refrain from all kind of beans, grains, uh, you can have nuts, you can have quinoa, you can have yams, you can have all kind of roots, but you gotta stay away for your own spiritual health and benefit. I mean there's a lot of benefits, but I'm not, this is not an ecodicy video. I'm just pointing out a couple of things, you know? So, this particular 24 hour fast that the devotees just did, this one is, is special because in this one, you're supposed to refrain from food and water altogether for that 24 hour period. And another facet of that fast is to stay up for 24 hours. So you're really supposed to feel that burn that material burn that material energy burn and you know if you're successful in doing that actually it's the equivalent of performing all the other ecodices for the year so if you miss every last one just make sure you do the pandava nirjala okay so with that said today is a good day for charity but the particular any yesterday now Yesterday, any good deed, any pious deeds, any spiritual deeds, if you chanted your rounds, if you went on Harinam Sankirtan, whatever you did yesterday, it gave the result of a one billion times result. See, every day has a different mathematical value. Every deed has a different mathematical value. Even in the Hebrew language, you'll see that each letter has a certain numerical value so you know you can make it into math once it comes into the material plane it becomes more mathematical you get a billion times the result so chanting one round is as if you chanted one billion rounds that's just one example today however the day after the economy if you give the charity of water all of your sinful activities will cease i repeat if you give today as charity, water, all of your sinful acts, activities will stop. I don't know when it didn't give a time scale, but that's just how it works. These are things that are gifts or mercy from the spiritual plane, from the upper abode coming down into this material abode. There's a lot of cross currents going on. And fortunately, due to, due, due to things I'm learning in Hare Krishna, you know, there's ways to do what you call bandhu or association. Uh, I think in, in African traditional religions, they call that correspondences. Some things correspond between, let's say, the gross plane, the five material elements, and the subtle plane. There's correspondences. You could do things. But there's also correspondences that go from the material world to the spiritual absolute world. And that's what you're looking for. That's the real goal. So anyway, to just... To pretty much wrap this up, today I got an email, right? And basically there's a Bhagavad Gita, as it is, conference. And the interesting thing about the email, I shared it on Facebook and Twitter. Matter of fact, 
when I clicked like on the link on Facebook, I was the 444th person to click like. So if anybody's well-versed in numerology or knows anything about the number 444, please feel free to comment or share the information. 444, I guess it's, it's significant because all of these triple numbers mean something. So what happened was on the vote, basically the two versions that were up for vote was 1972 as it is and the 1983 as it is. Now me, I'm new, neophyte, I don't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm still learning. I'm a materially conditioned soul subject to the four human imperfections for now. But with that said, with a little rational common sense, Srila Prabhupada left his physical body in 1977. Any addition that should be approved would be the addition that was in use during the time that he was in his body. Because Srila Prabhupada, if he didn't like the version that was out, he could have easily just said, change it. But if it was good enough for Srila Prabhupada, then why should anyone else see the need to change the original words? You change the words that come to Srila Prabhupada through Krishna. He said, I don't write these books. He said, at the night, when I go to sleep, I see Krishna. He talks to me. He tells me what to write. The next day I write it. So every time he would read his literature, it was always new and fresh to him because he would be gleeful and joyful and people would be like, Srila Prabhupada, you wrote that. But he would be like, no, Krishna wrote it. So if Krishna gave Srila Prabhupada the addition of the, night of the Bhagavad Gita that is the best for this time that we live in, nobody has a right to change that. You see, the science of the Westerners, right? The deity that's in control of the West, according to the ancient Kemetic or Egyptian system, is Osiris or Osar. Osiris is the Lord of perfect black. He represents a lot of things, regeneration, resurrection. But along with this energy comes mental speculation. People in the West have a bad habit of speculating on things that are already there. Scientists will tell you that there's a star. Let me see how many minutes this is. All right, cool. I got only a couple minutes. Scientists will tell you that there's star systems that have planets and stuff like that that are real big, composed of copper, and it's like a million thousand degrees on the surface of the planet. And they'll tell you we see this with our telescopes. And we're like, duh, all of this stuff is in the Srimad Bhagavatam. The heavenly systems are literally described from the hellish planets down to the watery cosmos all the way up to Brahma Loka and Satya Loka and Dhruva Loka and all of these upper planetary systems and then the middle earth's planetary systems. You know, you got Bhuva Loka. That's the one we live in. We live in Bhuva Loka. It's like seven, seven planetary systems. Whatever. It's there. Scientists. It's there. And us in the West, we feel that when we learn something to a certain point, we're better than our spiritual masses. We're better than the ones who sparked our soul on this eternal journey. And it just don't work like that because the spiritual master, regardless of what faults you may see or think you see in your spiritual master or whatever advancement you think you see in yourself, even though this movement started in the West a little less than 50 years ago, ain't nobody advanced like that. We're just scratching the surface. 50 years out of a out of a 150 trillion year history? Who do you think you are? You don't have no right to change Srila Prabhupada's words. Sorry. Sorry. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's easy to swallow or hard to swallow, there's a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? But this man was an ocean of mercy. Consistently with his character. The way people described him and the way he lived, he's not going to intentionally deceive you. So why would you intentionally change his words? That is deception. That's deception. You're changing the man's word. Just bring it back on the vote 
90% of it was 148 votes. I think I was vote number 149. And on that vote, it came up 90% of the people voted for the 1972 edition. And only 2% of the people, totaling three votes, voted for the 1983 edition. I'm not even going to guess who those three people was. So, with that said, let's keep Srila Prabhupada's original words and just do, the, do what is needful. Hare Krishna.